Hello, hi everyone, and welcome to my talk about extracting synonyms from bilingual dictionaries. I am Mustafa Jarrar I'm from Birzeit University. I did this work with other colleagues. Uh, before presenting the paper, please give me two minutes uh, first to show you uh, my university and a bit of my research. Uh, uh, this is uh, our campus. We have beautiful campus and top of a hill. And this is uh, how uh, the life in the campus used to be, but not anymore. It's closed now and uh, no students and we are teaching uh, over Zoom from home. Uh, this is me in the library uh, with some uh, heavy lexicons. Uh, most of uh, uh, our research is focused on building lingu linguistic resources. Uh, these are the main linguistic resources we have built so far. We have a lexicographic database, which includes about 150 uh, lexicons that we have been digitizing, cleaning, integrating over 10 years. Uh, we have actually the largest Arabic multilingual database now. We also have the Arabic ontology, uh, uh, which is a formal Arabic word knit. Uh, so far, we have about between 15 to 20,000 concepts. Some of them are totally done, and some of them are still in the pipeline to, uh, to be added. All concepts are uh, in the ontology are, uh, are fully mapped to Princeton word knit and to Dochi, to BFO, and also to Wikidata, to notes in the Wikidata. Uh, we also have a uh, uh, dialect corpus, uh, well annotated with uh, many features. The three parts together are forming a big linguistic data graph. Uh, I will show you it quickly uh, now. Uh, so this is the uh, portal where we have all resources. So if you put, if you search for a word, for example, time and so you get uh, results from 150 lexicons, uh, synonyms, uh, definitions, uh, translations, etc. And also this is uh, this are the tab of the dictionaries, but also you can reach the ontology in this tab and you search and you get uh, the notion of time and you start expanding or you go up, uh, time is an occurrence and occurrence is an entity, the entity is the main root, which is divided into five uh, categories, uh, object, occurrence, dependent entity, abstract, uh, information, etc. And you can keep expanding the tree. Uh, we have also morphology tab here. Okay, so back to our, uh, paper, which is to extract synonyms. As you know, uh, uh, importance of synonyms is growing in uh, many types of uh, uh, application areas in computer science and artificial intelligence. Synonyms uh, are also essential parts in Fizori, in uh, word needs, in linguistic ontologies, dictionaries, and others. Uh, there are different notions of synonymy. Uh, in word embeddings, so words uh, are appearing, uh, words appearing in similar contexts are considered maybe synonyms. Uh, in thesauri, they are closely related words. Uh, in word nets, uh, they are based on substitution ability of uh, words in a context. In uh, linguistic ontologies, uh, they are uh, uh, equivalence classes. So these are different. Uh, from, from loosey notions to strict notions of, of synonym. Um, all, before presenting the algorithm we developed uh, to extract synonyms, I would like to mention that there are main areas doing tasks related to synonym extraction. So in word need construction, we will extract synonyms uh, using other word needs or using machine translation, 
uh, corpora, word embeddings, other uh, wiktionaries, etc., in order to build word needs. But there is also work uh, or another area in discovering uh, uh, new translations from mul mul multilingual translation uh, graphs, especially RDF. Uh, other people are trying to extract synonyms to enrich or to validate uh, existing dictionaries. So uh, now our algorithm uh, to extract synonyms, so we have the input of the algorithm is a bilingual dictionary, uh, which means a set of bilingual uh, translation pairs, just pairs, and the output is a bilingual sentence. So uh, there are two steps in the algorithm. The first one we extract, uh, or we build the translation graph from the dictionary, and then we extract cycles. So nodes participating in cycles are candidate uh, senses, bilingual senses of this form. And then we do some consolidation to improve the, these candidates. I will show you this in an example. In this example, we have a bilingual dictionary. So this is just a table of two columns, nothing more. Uh, word and another word, word and another word, so, or a term and another term, I would say. Uh, this example, this example, by the way, I extracted it from the Arabic word net. So I get this senses, I converted them into uh, bilingual dictionary, just flat bilingual dictionary. Now, we will use this to extract synonyms. So don't tell me we have the synonyms here. I'm just, this is just an example where I have only these, only these, I assume I have only these, and then I build a graph from this bilingual dictionary. So we take away, for example, Gaba, uh, translated in the dictionary here, as you see here, uh, Gaba, forest, wood, woods. Uh, so forest, wood, woods, and then from woods. So we take the English, every English word, and we find its uh, Arabic translation like uh, Gab and Adgal for this word. Uh, wood means Gab, al uh, Khashab, uh, Adgal, etc. So we take every word in English then and we translate it into Arabic and every Arabic translated into English and so on. So we stop if we find a cycle, it means we go to the same word here. Or we stop if there is no more translation like this here. If there are no more translations, we stop. Or we stop uh, until level K. Now, uh, we are only interested in cycles. So we just, we are not interested in other information. We are interested only in cycles. So we keep, just keep the cycles here. And these cycles, uh, we will convert them into uh, senses, bilingual senses of this form. So nodes participating in uh, cyclic paths are considered uh, candidate senses. So for example, uh, Gaba, which means woods, and then woods means gab, and gab means forest, and then we go back to this. So this is a cycle. So in this, in this case, we have two English words, woods and forest, like this. And we have gaba and gab here, so and so on. So if, or if you take uh, a long one, gaba, woods, adgal, forest, gab, wood, and you go back to gaba, and then, then you have this. Uh, this uh, sense it. So we remove duplicates because we generate many duplicates here. Now, we take these generated uh, candidate sense and now we start consolidation. So in this phase, we consolidate Arabic using English. So we want to consolidate these using this. So if we say, we say, okay, this for example, uh, if two, uh, if same senses in English uh, that have different Arabic uh, senses are union. So here forest and woods, uh, woods and forest are, this is actually the same set. So we then we combine this, the words here, we end up with this. And we do this 
process the same, like it is. So instead of nine, we have now four. Uh, we take this four and we uh, consolidate the English. So we go the other side. Uh, we consolidate the English. It's uh, here we have, uh, it's actually all the same. It's the same set in Arabic. So it's all the same. So it means we have to uni uh, union these, all of these uh, English words into one sense. Okay, so uh, there is no more consolidation, but in case there's need for more consolidation, we keep doing this until no consolidation is found. Uh, good. Now, this is the final output. So from the table, we end up with this sense. This is how we do. Uh, maybe you say why we did the, the, the consolidation like this. The consolidation is actually based on some heuristics. So we say these heuristics, three main heuristics, and we say it's less likely for a bilingual sense it, uh, since it's to refer to multiple concepts. Means if we, uh, if we have bilingual sense it, so Arabic and English, for example, together. So typically it refers to one concept. Um, but it's possible to refer to more, but which means more polysemy. Uh, so if more polysemy or, or, or if these cases exist, then the uh, accuracy of the algorithm will be, of course, affected. The second the heuristic is it's less likely that a sense is a subset of another sense. So if we have cases like A, B, C, D, and then we have A, B, C, another sense called A, B, C, well, the more of these cases is actually the less the accuracy. Uh, the third one is it's less likely for the same English sense to be translated into multiple Arabic senses. So these are the main three heuristics. Okay, how to evaluate uh, the algorithm? As you know, evaluation is not easy for synonymy. Uh, it's known to be difficult. Uh, our proposed methodology is the following. So we used Arabic word net, which, which is, by the way, very challenging because it contains lots of polysemous senses. It's, the Arabic word net is 10,000, uh, about 10,000 concepts. So we extracted, in order to evaluate the algorithm, we, we converted this into a bilingual table. And uh, from this bilingual table, we extracted the uh, bilingual senses using our algorithm. And then we measure the difference between the extracted with the original uh, Arabic word. Uh, the evaluation using precision recall and F measure shows that we have about 82% accuracy. 80 uh, precision and, uh, and uh, 84 recall. This is with K equals six and with consolidation. If no consolidation is done, it's 47. If we go even with consolidation to on more levels, even we have less accuracy. And also remember that we didn't do any tuning, any specific treat, language specific treatment or anything. And we did this evaluation on Arabic word net, which is polysemous. That's it. So the conclusion, we have presented an algorithm to extract synonyms from flat bilingual dictionaries. Uh, which is actually uh, can be applied in other languages because we didn't do any tuning or any language treatments when we reached good accuracy, even with a challenging resource. Uh, in the future, we plan to fine tune. We have lots of ideas how to fine tune it. We will use part of the speech, which we didn't use actually, and we will use other morphological features. Uh, there are specific things in Arabic we have to do, like the diacritics and inflections, which we didn't consider. And then we want to apply the algorithm to enrich with the Arabic ontology, especially that we have many bilingual dictionaries. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, and this is my email. Please email me if you have any question, or if you have some dictionaries you want to extract, uh, we will do it for you. Thank you very much.